Hey guys, it's Kelly Ann and welcome to another Flossy Friday. Today is January 15th. I had to look because honestly, don't know. My brain is that frazzled and fried at the moment. Um, this week has been very busy at work and stressful. Emotionally and mentally draining. It's really funny how like Friday everyone like leaves you alone and it's like been a good day. Um, we do have a three day weekend. I'm very thankful for that. Um, but I do have to go back home this weekend cause I have a funeral tomorrow, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to spend some time back home. Um, I think, I think I'm going to spend Saturday and Sunday and then come back early on Monday so that way I can spend a day at home relaxing and chilling with the children because I am I'm not taking them uh, my friend is gonna watch them so speaking of which Stella is sleeping Potter is in the other room sleeping uh, if he comes in here I will pick him up and put him in the video but we'll give you a little Stella moment right now so she was sleeping. Okay, well, you can't stay here. No beans. Um, okay, but no, but for real, you can't, you can't stay right here. Yes. I'll put you back. I'll put you back. I just wanted you to say hi to everyone. Okay. All right. So they're doing good. Um, just Potter's getting some alone time in his room and, um, yeah. So, oh no, a random bug. That's not fun. I did just go outside and get the mail and I had two packages. I was expecting one and I don't know who sent me the other. I don't know who sent me the other. Um, so if it was you, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you my current whip. Um, I started it yesterday. I don't know if I'm gonna get to work on this today because um, tonight I'm going to go and help my friend Tracy at her work. Um, they switched her off, they switch around everyone's offices um, but she works most of the week not in the office and she's gotten in trouble a couple of times this week for not having it already like completely put away and organized. But she literally doesn't work in the office majority of the week. So she's gotten it as organized as she has been able to. So I told her that I would help her organize her office and get it put away so she doesn't get in trouble on Monday. So I'm going to help her do that. So I don't think I'm going to get to stitch any tonight. Hopefully I will this weekend. I'm going to take this with me this weekend, but I started the final laundry co. <laughs> it's a small start. Um, I started in the middle and so this is a 28 count linen and it's called Old Amsterdam. If you know the maker of Old Amsterdam, please leave it in the comments um, because the tag doesn't say who makes it, just as the color, um, but it is called Old Amsterdam and I just, I don't know who makes it. Um, anyways. That's how far I got. This is a pattern by Hands on Design and it's the irony one. It's about, uh, I think it says irony is the opposite of wrinkly. And then it has like a washing machine and some clothes across the bottom and irons and stuff. So I did the, the wrinkly, I like it. Okay, so the big reveal. <laughs> Sew to stitch, sewing cat is finished. I'm so excited to have this done. I love this piece so much. Okay, so 
that's the first shelf. And I did stitch this on 18 count Ada that I dyed specifically for this pattern. So there's the top shelf. That one's been done. That's the second shelf. I'm just gonna show you all of it in slow motion. <laughs> That's the third shelf with the tiny little cat butt. If you do this pattern, please add the cat butt. It is so worth it. And then this is the final shelf. So I went ahead and I did customize this cat to look like Gizmo. I love it so much. I think it came out so good. Um, and it really does look like her. I was sending like, I don't know, like every two hours, I was sending an update to one of my best friends, Amanda. Hi, Amanda. I know that you're watching. Um, uh, with the updates and I've known Amanda since junior high and I got Gizmo the summer before junior high. So, um, she knew Gizmo her whole life. <laughs> um, and she can even say she does look like her. I tried really hard though. Like I looked at multiple photos to get exact references and I did do like the different little wispies and stuff, but because she has so much black on her, you can't see them. I stitched them. You just can't see them, but I'm okay with it. Uh, I think it came out adorable. Um, but here's the rest of that shelf. And I absolutely love it. So here is the piece as a whole. And no, I've not ironed it. I don't iron my stuff until um, I know how I'm gonna finish it. Oh, I have to like hold it like way back. It is way too big. I love it so much. It looks amazing. I'm so excited. So that's like the big finish. So goal for this weekend is to finish irony and then also FFO the last two. And then I just have to wait for my dad to help me hang it. The next whip that I want to work on. So yes, I will be starting, I will work on a whip. Um, after I finish irony, I want to pull out the Emma Congdon, the best is yet to come. Cause I have about 50% of it done, just under 50% of it done. So I'm going to go ahead and get it finished. I just do. Um, I know that I started last year, but Hey, no time like the present, right? So, um, I do still want to start the with love pillow from hands on design from the around the holidays series, but we're only halfway through the month. So I'm going to finish the, the third laundry co I want to then work on the best is yet to come. Um, and then I will probably start the, um, with love pattern from that series and go ahead and get it done so way it can be done for February. And then I don't know. I have been pulled to, lately I have been pulled to Witches of Salem and Christmas Rolls. And I said that last time that that would be like the next thing after these two, but um, I want to, I want to work on the Emma Compton one. Um, that's kind of where I'm at with that, but I do, I am still pulled to those two and working on those and getting those finished as well. But, um, I want to get obviously laundry co done, the Emma Congdon, and then I don't think the with love will take that long. I think it'll maybe take like four or five days max, depending on how much stitching time I get asterisks on that one. Um, and then, then I'll move into one of those two, I think, cause they've been calling to me. Okay. So all that I have left is haul. It's a very short video. All that I have left is haul. So 
I'll show my haul last. I received something in the mail today from somebody in Texas and I don't, they didn't put their name and I don't have the address saved anywhere because I checked. So I'm really not sure who sent it to me. If it was somebody who watches me or follows me on Instagram, thank you. Um, but I wish I knew who to thank. Um, I know their address, but I don't know their name. <laughs> um, anyways, so I got a package and it had some fabrics and this thing in it. Um, so it's this really cool cream with white floral pattern. It's really pretty check. And these gorgeous little flowers. I love flowers. I love florals. Um, and then this. This is an Artsy 2 quilt boards. No sew quilt wall hanging. So it's a no sew quilt wall hanging. So I'm intrigued by that. Um, but it has the instructions. Um, but it says fun, relaxing, rewarding, patent pending, beautiful design, made in the USA, fabric not included. So, um, skill level beginner, six by six. Instructions, illustrations, phone backing, hanger bracket, free video library. So, these are to do this. Very cool. Super, super cute. Um, so that'll be fun to figure out. Uh, I just, I wish I knew who to thank. I gotta figure that out. I gotta do some recon. Um, okay, so. Yeah, my mind is just still. That's really cool who sent it. <laughs> um, okay, so I have actual haul. I got this day that it was released. And. I was so excited because several months ago they put out that they were going to release the previous year, the day that the next box comes out every year. And I can't afford their boxes. I just can't. Um, they're just, they're too pricey for me. So I was really excited about that, that I would be able to still get the pattern and it's supposed to be a seven part, a seven part series. So I'm kind of sad because they released it and I got it because I thought that maybe they would only sell a limited quantity to keep it exclusive. But I think they're selling an unlimited quantity of this one. But two or three days ago, they posted, which it had already been on sale for a few days because I ordered it last week. They posted that they weren't going to be putting the patterns up individually anymore. They decided against it to keep it even more exclusive. So you had to buy the box to get the next ones. I can't afford the boxes, so I don't know. I now don't know if I will ever stitch this if I can't get the other ones. So I'm hoping that maybe I'll be able to like borrow them from somebody or get them in a D stash or something. I don't know. I'm hoping that somebody will like loan me the parts as you know once they're done or whatever um because they are really really cool patterns they're really cool patterns so anyways um this is the frogwarts year one band sampler for harry potter it's so cool and i was so excited because they did say that they were going to release all of them, but they decided against it. So 
Um, I am a little like let down by that. Um, and it's not their fault that some of us can't afford their boxes. Like they're cool boxes. I'm not saying anything about that. And I just, I don't have that amount of a budget for something like that. Um, but like I said, I thought that like even these were going to be limited to keep them more exclusive. So I'm, I'm hoping that maybe they change their mind and like just release them individually, but like a limited quantity to keep them exclusive. But I do understand their decision. I wish that they would have announced it before they went on sale because it would have influenced my decision in getting this because this month I really don't have that much of a budget for fun stuff and I knew that this was coming out so I made it a purpose to make this like my fun thing for the month so it does suck but it's a personal issue you know what I mean so maybe somebody will let me borrow year two or something and maybe I can just make like a borrow trade or somebody something with somebody every year I don't know but um I was surprised I will say this I was surprised that they gave everyone a little baby chocolate frog needle minder so that is really cool because it's super cute but this is a little baby one super cute I do like that that was a nice surprise. Um, it may have said it that it was coming with it, but I didn't pay attention to it. I literally just added to cart and checked out. So if it said it, I wasn't aware. If it's an extra surprise, I'm sorry if I ruined it for you. Um, but yeah, it's super cute. I love wooden needle minders. They're my favorite. Um, and the pattern is just so cool. So I don't know. I'm going to hang on to this for a little while. I'm, it's not like I'm going to de-stash it right away because I'm still, just, I'm still deciding. I may just stitch this, um, by itself. And if I can't ever get the other ones, then I can't, but if I can, that would be pretty dope too. Um, so I just don't know. I don't know. It's still a really cool pattern. I love the pattern. Um, but yeah, so that is my haul. I think that's about it. Um, I don't have much to show because I'm kind of being like a monogamous type stitcher right now, like working on older whips and like started series. Oh, the other, oh, there has been something else calling to me too. My monthly Britter Cup cat. So I need to finish February. I have January done. It's not FFO'd because it's so, it's, they're all in one big piece of fabric. Um, so I need to finish February and I would love to do March. I don't know. I, I need to work on a couple of months, get a couple of months done, like take like a week and see how many months I can get done. And then I can FFO all of those and have like a chunk of the year. And then I can wait a little bit later to work on the rest. It's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know. So that one's also been pulling to me too. Because it's little kitties. Yeah. Um, I just removed that. Also, I need to yawn. Um, that's about it though. But I've been kind of like monogamously stitching so my videos this year or might be a little bit shorter than normal because I'm not like starting a bunch of stuff and have like a ton of things to show I'm hoping to have like it'd be great if I had to finish every single week because I'm genuinely trying to get series that I've started done and work on old whips that are just like calling to me and I wanted done for a while or something. Um, so it's just kind of where I'm at with it all. Um, but yeah, I, that's it. I hope that y'all have a fantastic weekend and upcoming week and I will see you all next Friday. Bye guys.